YouTube, how's it going? John here at Herman Woodworks. It is, well, it's actually Christmas. It's like two in the morning and just got done wrapping some presents, but wanted to do a, wanted to do a video on opening up the heater I got. I'm not going to be hanging a Resner style unit up in the corner for anybody that follows my channel like I thought I was going to be doing. Um, went with a different option. Um, Mr. Heater propane 30,000 BTU radiant heater um, all the research I ended up doing it'll be plenty for my shop it's not like I'm trying to make it a sauna in here and it's way cheaper um, this unit itself at least here in it's also made in Cleveland Ohio but here in Cleveland Ohio shout out to Cleveland um, only was $200 for the temp for the time being, I'm going to be running a temporary hose because I don't have my 500 gallon tank set up outside yet. So we're just going to be having a tank in here for the time being. So you need this kit because you have to have uh, the dual regulators on it to knock the pr the pressure down to the right setting. And also, it was forty dollars. This hose was I think like about thirty five dollars. <throat> And I got the blower kit just to help push it around the space here. So, yeah, let's get to open this. All right. As always, cut the tape straight edge. That way, if you got to take it back, it doesn't look like you opened it with a table saw or something. All right. So, we'll save the blower kit and all that stuff for later. Let's get into this. Okay, first thing we're getting, battery and some wall hanging pieces, but batteries for the ignition, save that, even though it's some funky brand. <clears throat> Next thing out are the feet, which I'm going to be using for the time being until I got it permanently mounted on the wall. And they got your hardware. This is gonna be your bracket for mounting it on the wall. This will go flush, these stick out. These little tabs will connect into a piece on the back of it. So don't bend that. Boom, lots of foam. Cardboard. More cardboard. More cardboard. The instructions, obviously very important. Bop, 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 bop. Just make sure I lift this without breaking anything. Voila, voila. Yeah, something like that. Empty box, nobody cares. All right. So here we are. Little pamphlet on the back. I think these, these are these might be, I think it's this, those are the tabs. So the only part that's going to be fun is, I think you have to knock this out. That's where the blower is going to attach. Looks like they got it like a little tack weld or something. So that's probably going to be pretty sporty getting that out of there. But um, yeah, what else we got here? This will be your ignition. This unscrews. Battery goes in here for lighting it. Got your various settings, one through five, off in your pilot setting. 
I'm going to go ahead and get this the feet put on this thing, see if we can't get this thing hosed up and hooked up. All right, well, there she sits with the feet on. It's just four little self-tapping screws that mount those on the bottom. That's all we're going to be doing for right now. I'll finish the rest after Christmas here because I totally forgot the special gas Teflon tape. And that's not something you can fudge on. So we'll pick this up later. All right, took a couple of days with the holidays and everything, but let's get back to it. So picked up some of the actual Teflon tape rated for your natural gas, propane, pretty much any of your combustibles, butane. It even says, I think, water, chemical, anything. But pick some of that up. Don't use just regular stuff. I mean, if you tried and true, you probably might want to go with actually like what they call like pipe dope. Use something like that. But let's get this thing hung on the wall. All right, so first off, you guys didn't need to see this. Pretty simple. This is bracket that they give you right here, just this metal bracket. And it's going to hang on the wall here. Now, the only thing I'm going to point out, the blower fan that I bought extra. We'll go back over there and look at that. They have it. It goes on the back of the unit. We'll go over that. But I didn't like how they had it so tight where it was going to suck in air once it was on the wall. It seemed like it was going to be way too close. So myself, I end up putting some 5 8 plywood just behind there just to, just to bump it out a little bit so it can draw in air a little bit. Air, especially when you're heating, obviously ends up making it work way more efficient. So let's go back over to the unit. Oh, and P.S., four-foot-tall plywood that's on the wall. Um, you know, this I'm going to end up coating this with something just to help protect it. Obviously, you probably... It'd be better off being on drywall, but the way heat works, I don't want to mount it up high and be losing all that. So, that being said, check where the top of your unit sits. The top of the unit here is going to be about here. You look where the mounting holes on that, just so you can get to all the controls nice and easy. All right, and second thought, I was thinking about this. While it's, I have these feet on here temporarily, got this on the stand. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out, get this fan installed. And then we'll hang it on the wall. All right. All right. So back over here at the unit. Here's the back of it. These slots here are what's going to... Those are what are going to hook onto that bracket they give you. So that's where I have that spacer wood. Another little space. The other spacer. Watch where this is. You'll have to kind of measure that. I think it was about nine inches down to here. So I put it at just above this just making sure it's getting good circulation but the point i was making was this is the blower assembly here's the box this is the additional blower kit that you can buy it doesn't come with the box so you have to buy this separate but that's going to mount right here you're going to knock this plate out they tell you to take screws out and save them well, they're not there. They just put in this stamp plate. It's a little tack welds holding it. You can see they have the screws. When you buy the blower motor, they give you the little sheet screws that that's going to mount right there. But the only thing, like I was saying, is, you know, this is going to be right on the back of the unit. And you can see that sticks out a good half inch to five eighths. So I just wanted to give it a little bit of air buffer space on the back of this thing okay so blower motor some of the stuff i've seen online this part is actually already attached on some of the units right here in the kit i bought this was already attached so i see now they gave us the six screw so we're going to take two of those out so that we can attach this right up here and then the four to mount that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so got it hanging on the wall. Went ahead and plugged it in. Turned it on. Made sure that it does its thing and blows some air. And see, we got pretty good space back there. Now I got a little bit more space. I just wasn't going to be happy. It's actually, I got to put the spacers in the bottom. So that's going to be the next thing, but... Yeah, not a ton of space, so I'm glad I put that little spacer on there. 
But now what we got to do, this is how it's teetering, is we have to take this outer face shell off. There's two mounting holes down in here and here. It's got some spacers, and we might have to put an additional ply behind there just to compensate for the how I bumped it out. But So what we're going to do is go ahead and take two and two, take those screws off, take this face off, and figure where that's at. All right, so that face pops off. Set that down there, left my screws down there. So the holes we're looking for are this hole here, and I'm under there, this hole here. And yep, we're gonna get the spacers behind that, so that'll make that out here. Put a screw in there and get back to it. These are the two spacers they give you and the two screws. So I'm gonna go get those installed. All right, just like that, got the spacers installed. So we'll go ahead and put this face back on. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and hook the lines on first. Okay, so for the time being, we're going to hook this. This is going to be a temporary kit. It even says right on it, for temporary use, not for permanent install. It is above my pay grade. Actually running steel ductile, like the actual line for the gas through the wall. Um, I, I've watched, saw a bunch of videos. It's not that complicated, but for the time being, we're going to go ahead and use this. It gives you two different pressure regulators so that it bumps it to the right strength for this unit. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and get that mounted up on the wall. And this obviously is where this propane rated Teflon tape is going to come in. All right, so obviously this end is going to go right now. I'm just going to be temporary hooking on a 20 pound tank. I have a 500 gallon tank. Well, so it holds 400 back behind the building. But, like I said, we don't have a line through, so this is just for the time being to get some heat in this building. That's going to go to the tank. This is going to go to the unit. The piece we're going to need, they give you a couple different fittings. We are going to need this piece to hook under here. And you get on the unit. They have it taped over. That's where your line goes in. They have it taped over. And when you peel this back, you'll see where it threads in. So like I said, go get that piece. I'm going to do that, and we'll test this tank out. All right, went ahead and put the face back on. The last things we're going to have to do is if you take this off. This is going to be for your igniter. Go ahead and drop your old battery in there. And the next thing we're going to have to do, though, is bleed this line. So, All right, so here is the temporary hookup. Keyword, temporary hookup. Don't run this forever. Or is I have the propane guy coming in like a week. Don't want to be running this for too long. So what I'm going to go do, though, is I'm going to get a little bit of bubble solution. I'm going to hit, hit it on this. After I turn this propane on, before anything's lit, make sure I don't got any leaks. You start seeing some bubbles. Start over. Figure it out. All right, for the first time, bleeding the line. So you're going to go from the off to the pilot. I'm going to press down, and it's going to bleed out that line. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Have my other hand ready so I can ignite this thing. All right, so it took a good 30 seconds of bleeding off that line. But as you can see, we got pilot going. And uh, yeah, I say it's time to uh, turn this thing up. All right, so. Oh, well, that is like instant heat. That's nice. All right, I'm gonna be a freeze baby. Let's crank this thing up to five, get the party started. All right, so while I'm here, let's turn this fan on. You know, we'll run it on the auto mode, see how long it takes for that to kick on instead of just doing the manual. 
Right now, I can tell you, I'm standing about, I don't know, about five feet away. Difference with this radiant heat, it is just instant. Like, you just feel it. Feel it on the tummy. Feels nice. All right, so I'm going to kick this off for a minute. I'm going to let this thing heat up for a little for a couple minutes and check back with you. All right, so in auto mode, it took about I don't know, maybe almost five minutes before it kicked on when it was at full temp. But um, right now, I got it running in manual mode just to keep going. It really pushes some hot air around. Um, you know, even moving your hand from on this side, like the vent or the fan is right here. It 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 cooks but overall yeah standing a little bit away from this thing it it's putting out the heat this thing is going to be great for the shop um like i said i can't wait to actually get it hard lined into the tank behind the building but uh yeah mr heater this is a 30 30,000 btu unit like i said this is propane super pumped um you know, box, it's it's made in China, but they're a Cleveland company, Cleveland represent. Gotta love it. We'll see how it goes after we'll see how this how how I rate it in a week or two. But for right now, from where I'm standing here, even walking around the shop, it's already making a big difference. So yes. Alright everyone, after standing here, like I said, this thing is great. Super pumped to have this going in the shop. Um, like right now it's about 18 degrees outside. This is going to help out production big time. It's nice to be able to feel your fingers out in the shop. But anyways, YouTube, thanks for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe and I will talk to everyone again soon.